What's up my friends? Today we are going to decorate my guided journal and I am working on the Hello Happy guided journal still and I have a bunch of guided journals to choose from when I finish this one in a couple of weeks but I do have a couple more weeks left and so I wanted to decorate this one with you again. All right so I brought out the Oh How Lovely sticker book because it's new as well as a bunch of these um, sticker packs that I haven't really used a ton so I thought it'd be fun to use those. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. This is a big sticker book, so things may not uh, fit as easily on this page as, you know, a classic size sticker book. So I think first, do I like it like that? Yeah. We're going to add it for both of these. And we're just going to cut off right at the edge. And then with the two of these, I can do a little bit of layering. Right down here at the bottom to tie that together. Okay, so I'm just thinking about what to add in. So usually I do a like little scene within each one, but I'm kind of feeling like maybe putting it on top this time, except maybe not with this particular sticker. What about with these and maybe a mailbox. We'd have to cut the mailbox to size. Let's use the pink one since I like pink. <laughs> and this one could go like, I could put it all the way over here and trim the edge. I'm going to cut this one a little bit shorter. We'll start it over here and see what we can do. All right, do we want a cat or a dog? There are also cat and dog floral stickers that we'll put in. Let's do a dog. Let's do this one because it's shorter. Looking at sizing of the space and then put this one down. All right, that's fun and floral. Let's see, now I just, I would love if there's something that I can cover these with to make it, you know, more pulled together with the colors. There are some gold heart stickers. Oh, here, this is perfect. I was about to say the gold doesn't really bring these colors throughout the page. So we're just gonna go like this. Let's see, we need one of the pinks for the washi tape and then the other color. Maybe the more beige one. All right, and I think that page is done. Okay, so looking at this, I do have a little bit of scrapbook paper that kind of is going to be cool with it. So what I'd like to do is use a scrapbook paper to cover the parts that um, I'd like to cover. So like this. Because 
we oh, that's a bad tear. Maybe because I have two in there, we'll add a third. Like a skinnier one. It just kind of goes like that. So we need tape for that, and then we'll put these stickers down. So this doesn't match color-wise, but I thought it was a cool pop of color, and it matches thematically, of course. Because this is definitely not neutral jungle, but it is animal print, so I think it'll work out. We'll see. So covering things with scrapbook is a really easy way to cover up the things that you don't want. So for in this case, we're covering up the coloring section. I love the layout of this planner. I don't find that I color it that often just because I don't really put the time into it. So I like having it colorful pops of decoration instead. Um, and then maybe coloring once a week. Okay. Let's take a look. There's a lot of great stickers in here. Okay. Just trying to pick a quote for a kind of positive affirmation, but, um, you know, positive quote really with what these stickers are. Let's do the always believe in your wildest dreams. I'm just going to put it like that. And this will go ahead and layer over that one. And then these are really fun too. Let's go with more of the pinkish ones. Try to use up those pinky ones. Put this one layered across the bottom so it's kind of going over that as well and we'll do the same thing over here and it does go over these paint splatters as well but that's okay um, kind of is a little funny down there but I like it Gonna add this little one in part of this line just to make it longer and use that up. Okay, and then we've got these little ones as well. And we'll go with the pinkish ones as well again. Pink. This one will be better over here. Kind of as part of the quote. too hard to see. Maybe the one with black lines is better. So I'm going to go ahead and put this one here, but I want to cover that little section up with the clear lines. So white out. Where did the white out go? Oh, there it is. Okay. All right, we've got it there. Maybe this one will put it in an angle. Um, let's just wipe this out too. And then the beigey tones kind of do work with it as well. So I'll just go ahead and put this one here. It takes up a lot of space on this one, but I think it kind of starts to pull things together. So that's all I'm going to do so that I have space for writing, but I think that's pretty fun um, and unique and fun to look at for my journaling. So we're not going to use this sticker book because this is for on blackout paper, so I'll put that one back. So this one I would like to cover up that. So let's use this paper. how this works out overall. I have a tiny bit to white out right here, just the way the tear worked. 
I could do, um, is this way out? No, I could do straight lines on it, but I just always like the torn paper look better. Let's see, so it's gonna go there, and then this one starts about here. That'll be nice. And then to make it kind of even, we'll add a nice torn piece in the corner, but stopping before that envelope. Okay, yeah, that looks good to me. And all of these I will punch out later with my plan of punch, just knowing that I'll be going over the edge on some of these with scrapbook paper. I'll wait to do that. All right, so I thought that would be cool with, let's go ahead and just put that one here and figure out whatever, what else to do with it. So first, I can do four little bits of gratitude right here. With that sticker, that's not straight. <laughs> there we go. Oh, these are, this is some cool washi. So where do I want it? I think I like it down here. We'll get it all the way to the edge. That looks cool. Okay, I do have some boxes so I could put some over here, but I'm just looking at what else I have. Okay, these are awesome stickers. Let's put in Make Today Beautiful up here, and let's do the Let Go and Grow down here. I like both these stickers because they've got the teal in it which really goes nicely. Okay. Let's add in that one. And this one. This little note sticker. Then yeah, let's add in this for a little bit extra writing space. Let's see, did we have any other, maybe another circle sticker down here. Let's do, it's cool to be kind. I like that one as well. Maybe line it up like this where it like goes into this one. That's kind of fun. Okay, so I think this one is done as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to the next page. Let's see, what do I want to use? I haven't ever used this pastel tie-dye one, so let's go ahead and use this. See, are these all clear stickers, or do we have... They're all clear stickers, so what I'm going to do is, you know, this actually kind of works with this too. So we're just going to do a little more paper tearing just for this corner. Just to cover that up and then go with it. gives a little theme for these couple of pages. Okay, that I didn't quite glue on straight, so I'm just gonna cut off this little extra bit. Keep reaching for your dreams, I like that one. Let's see, 
I kind of like these shiny ones to put in here. Um, but let's just, okay, this whiteout's getting a little weird. But I can't open this one up to fix it. It won't open. So I'm just going to try to use it and then throw it away when it's too crazy. Okay, I guess that's the point. Okay, let's see. Grab another whiteout. So we'll go ahead and put these here. You can use a tweezer or something to help you put down these small stickers without uh, folding them over and stuff like that. I just never have really gotten the hang of tweezers and my nails are usually long enough to pick things up. Um, so I just do that, but tweezers are definitely an option if you're good with those. <laughs> All right, that looks fun. See, and instead of doodle, I think I'll put some quotes in here um, just to look at for the day. Actually, this one I really, really love, and it might look nice right on here. Let's bring it all the way over to the edge and down, so it's a little bit spaced away from this, so it's not like right up on the edge of the circle. But that looks pretty cool, don't you think? It's a little bit light in here, but with the black lines, you can see it. Okay, so here are some quotes. I like this one, you are magical. Just to bring everything across the bottom of the page, let's just go ahead and put it like that. And because it's got really good text, you can see all the way, all the text on it. And similar to this, it's kind of like, it's a fun kind of holographic thing. Okay, so we'll go ahead and put some of these stickers in as well. Just here, kind of like, this one's gonna say remember, and then up there we'll use a today sticker just to add in a little bit of color up here. You definitely don't need to because it's got the prompts, but I like adding a little bit of color in. All right, so remember, and then today, let's keep the colors the same because I haven't added in this peachy color yet. always better to me to do a little too much white out because you can just scrape a little bit away um, than have too little if you want to keep that line from showing up underneath. Okay, that's looking pretty fun. Let's just double check. There's nothing else. I feel like I might want to add in some of these. I've got a couple of them, so let's go ahead and put that one here. Yeah, I've got two more, so let's just add those in. Go ahead and put this star down in the corner. That's a good way to do that one. And then one more heart, and then I think we'll be done with this page. So do we want this up here? Maybe just right like this, right over the edge. Okay, cool. That page is pretty fun looking, I think. All right, so now we have done two pages front and back. So three days and then three daily pages and then one weekly page. Let's see over here. Let's see, this one is pretty cool the way it's set up. So let's just see if we can add some everyday icon stickers in it to decorate. Because it's pretty busy and I love this coffee cup. So let's see, we could. Cover up these bits and put in these gold discs. That's pretty fun, I think.
Okay, so we've got some gold discs in there. And we don't have a ton of space for quotes and stuff, but what if we cover up this fill your cup with positivity? Because it has the little um, thing here that says list three ways to encourage positivity in your day. So I don't need that bit. So I could pick a quote, create something beautiful every day, make time to enjoy the simple things in life. I like the make time sticker. So make time to enjoy the simple things in life. We'll just put it right like that. And we will add some flair around it. There we go. Just looking at what else we could put in. We might not put much else in because it's already so well done. Yeah, I think I'm pretty good with this page. Just changing it up the tiniest bit, but I'll probably color the, this in and do some word art in here and it'll look really cool at the end. All right, so this one was really simple and now we just have three days of the week left to decorate for. So let's use this one. That sounds like a great idea. That's a really great quote. Um, but affirmation, this is a perfect affirmation for it. And I can just put it like this because I could also do some coloring with that. Okay. I'll use these little hearts for sure, but I'm just getting the things in that I need around everywhere else and then I can decide. Live with heart. That's actually really nice. Let's just go ahead and white out this line so that this fits well. There we go. All right. And so list three things that are inspiring you today. Let's add some little stickers in here. So I'm going to do a check-in of something that's inspiring me today. Um, I'll use the word create because usually there's something planner or crafty that's inspiring me, like a project I'm working on or new supplies that I got or something like that. So I'll put that there and then I'll do connect. And that one will be more about, you know, a person or something um, related to socialization, um, you know, socializing. Um, like we played board games with friends or something like that. Okay. Then I do love all these pictures, but I don't know if they're gonna fit in with this spread. Okay, so how are you feeling today? I think I might actually use this one and use some washi with it. Let's see. I think actually this washi that I've had for a while from Simply Gilded might be really nice with this spread. It's got a little shine to it. It's different slightly different shininess. Oh, there's my preschooler making lots of noise. <laughs> um, I need to put this down. I'm going to stick it like that. <laughs> so I'm going to do that. And then put this down here. I've got this nice card with my name on it. How fancy. You can just go like that. Oh, look how easy that is. Okay, so we've got that. Then we're going to put down feeling. Right like this. Uh, I don't love how that looks across there, but I do like this. So do I have another feeling? One that's a different color than that. Maybe this brown instead with reflect. 
Ah, that's much better. I like that a lot better, and it's nice and shiny. I'm not sure if you can see the shininess of all of that. Okay, then I could do the same thing here with... Oh, there is a feeling. So reflect and feeling. Let's just change up these things. And then this I already made nice and straight. So we'll put this edge over here. And just so that there is some difference in the spread, I'm going to cut that off smaller so that it just looks a little different. And then we'll put this one right here. All right, that looks pretty good. All right, let's put this washi away. We could, <laughs> she's making so much noise. I wonder if you hear all that. Um, I'll also just put a little bit down here, like this and then I think the coloring I'm gonna do um some neutral coloring oh I can't do that one upside down I was trying to do it upside down but it wasn't gonna work out um because then the O's are upside down whoops <laughs> okay um then this one just is too straight on both sides so I'm going to do that with it Then this little bit here, gosh, she is loud. I, I looked for my X-Acto knife and I couldn't find it right now, but this little bit needs to come up. So I'm just going to trim it with my scissors and hope for the best. That's close. All right, so those are just kind of some bows in there to go with it. And I'll use kind of neutrals and pinks to color in that section. All right, washi tape is away. All right, so we've got those two pages and now just two left. So this one's really nice. I always love coloring in that one. So I'm not going to put in that much, but I am. going to put in this sticker there is beauty all around and I'm going to put it like this so I do need to white out just the edge of the envelope sticker I put on this page just because I love coloring that one in so I don't really want to cover that up. And I've used this sticker pack up really well. Okay so we'll leave it just like this really really simple. And then this one let's maybe use this wrong wrong one if I can figure out how I want to cover that up. Because I like those stickers. Let's see, what scrapbook papers did I grab? None of those really work with it. So let me just look over here real quick. I could just use some blue. Like, kind of goes with all of it. So let's just I 
do that just for some blue in there that'll cover it up easily I could also just white it all out but um I don't want to waste that much white out anymore I've been doing that a lot for a couple of weeks and it's been fine but I love scrapbook paper and this is an easy way to do it anyways okay this end is just curling up a little so you just go like that and then it's ready to go all right so we are going to I don't think we need to wipe that out because I can use these I'm going to start with these stars and then put down this celebrate each little victory. And I am going to wipe out this part because I'm not going to follow this prompt. Okay, I like this find balance sticker. Um, that's kind of how I feel about journaling and all of that. go ahead and put it here in the middle. I'm hoping that works. <laughs> um, let's add in these stickers like underneath the one, two, and three. Because they're fun and bring the color up. So let's see, we've got more like meditative, boxing, just a girl getting ready, fixing her ponytail. Okay, and then we can go ahead and put this practice gratitude sticker right here. And I can write some gratitude in like this. Then over here, celebrate each little victory. I can write down some victories for the day. Let's see if there's any. Let's decorate with some things. Um, but yeah, I'll celebrate victories here, practice gratitude there. And we are just going to put some workout gear around the spreads. The blues go look good there. Then we can put the sports bra in as well. Uh, maybe right there to help hold that corner down. <laughs> And then let's cut off the star and move the star and then the hat will fit kind of perfectly there. Don't be afraid to change up your stickers. See, now it fits. I'll just put the star up there. All right, and that is the completed set of spreads. So just as a reminder, this is what we're working with. This is everything I just put together. And I'm really excited with how it looks. Some are a lot more colorful, others are a lot more simple. Um, but there's a good variety and a lot of space for journaling. So I hope this gave you some ideas for how you might decorate your guided journal pages. Um, let me know in the comments below what you've been doing. All right, thanks for watching. See you all next time. Bye.